House is debating on the historic vote that will take place later today on whether or not to impeach you know who. Now, he called in some of his friends or cronies uh, like Stephen Miller to help fire off a really kind of angry letter at <laughs> Speaker Nancy Pelosi and was also asked his thoughts on about what's going down. <laughs> um, take a look. Do you take any responsibility for the fact that you're about to be impeached? No, I don't take any, uh, zero, uh, to put it mildly. Uh, they took a perfect phone call that I had with the president of Ukraine, an absolutely perfect call. You know it, they all know it. Uh, nothing was said wrong in that call. To impeach the president of the United States for that is a disgrace, and it's a, a mark in our country. It's actually going to be a mark on your presidential record. Yeah. Um, what's in, what really sort of, I guess it made me laugh, because I thought of all these guys sitting around saying, OK, and then what are you going to say about her? Oh, no, I know. She, Nancy Pelosi, mm -hmm. is a big old, what, what should we say? Which I don't know. Oh, my god, what's it? <laughs> I just, I, I mean. Why are you sitting around with folks writing letters to the speaker? What, what well, is you know, why? he didn't write it. He hasn't read six pages, much much less written them. Well, no, he, read, he wrote some of this. He wrote some of this. There were, like, tell. commas. Yeah, some of you I looked it over. Yeah. I used to be an English teacher. There was syntax. I mean, he had commas and periods and everything. No, that's Stephen Miller. That's, that's, that's Stephen, Stephen Miller. Miller. But you, yeah. can, you can tell. Because it, yeah. it read like a very long tweet. <laughs> this yeah, six-page yeah, letter, and it's, it's, it's probably, you're right, it's probably the sixth thing, uh, yeah. the longest thing he's ever written. But what, what does this do to someone who has built his entire legacy off of his name, yeah. off of his brand? Whoopi, you make a good point. If they vote to impeach him, the first thing that's going to come up when you Google Trump is the third president to be impeached, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, th yeah. That's got to cause some severe insecurity. This letter, for, ter terribly written, uh, a lot of grammatical errors, but it makes it a lot harder for someone like myself who's trying to take Trump out of it and think about the bigger picture of what impeachment means and how hard we should make it for a president to be impeached yeah. because this letter was just complete narcissism. <laughs> and it's the exact opposite of what I think about a president and what they should be. The, and the, mm -hmm. one of the best qualities I've always thought for president is humility. Because humility means mm -hmm. you're willing to listen to someone, and uh. humility means you're willing to admit when you've made a mistake. Yes. Right. None of those he did in this letter, and none of those he ever is willing to do. No. Sure. So you can't read this and think to yourself, is this what I always thought of? to lead this country. Is no. this the type of person that I want it's like a my kids letter. to learn from? It was from. very like bizarre. And I, yeah. I mean, it's, it's on the internet. You know, I, I hope people will read it. It's six pages. It's single, single space. It's pretty entertaining. It's very entertaining, but it's also bizarre. I've read it about five times really? because every time I read it, you know, I wear a Fitbit and my heart kept on getting faster and faster, like the, my heart rate, because it was scary. First, I felt pity, then concern, and then I got Scared for the country. Be, for the mean. country. Oh, okay. Because I started thinking about the 25th Amendment. If I'm being honest, I started mm -hmm. thinking about his fitness to lead the country because it sounded, uh, um, uh, it, it sounded like the rantings of, well, of someone that was unstable. He, here's the thing: that I was thinking, what's the motive for the hysteria? You know, this guy. Uh, we know if he doesn't win, uh, he's out there. He could go to jail. And I think that he's, yeah. a, he's really frightened. I really do think he's frightened. I mean, this guy used $2 million of foundation money for his own use that was supposed to go to veterans, I believe. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, he has, a, he, has the, the he has hush money uh, to Stormy Daniel, Daniels that's hanging out there as a crime. There's all sorts of things he's done. I don't so think he's he panicking. thought this. I, yeah, but I a, don't think a, he thought that. I don't think he realized the severity of what it means to be impeached, yeah. to have, uh, you know, everybody sit around and say, we think something has gone on and we need to do all of this. I think they, he, I, I believe in my heart that he thinks he's going to be able to make a, what do you call it, when he, you know, writes something and he can change the way stuff happens. A pardon? No, well, he can't pardon himself, I he don't think. He can't pardon the white impeachment. Out? He could use no, white no, out. but what's the, what's the thing when <laughs> he just makes a... White just when he makes it, when he, like a he proclamation. Reneg? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> An executive decision. Thank you. An exe I think he thought he could make some sort of executive decision and shift this. And mm. I don't, I think no. it's just starting to be clear to yeah. him that this how what serious a this is. What a missed opportunity. But I think it's, I mean, I think yeah. the letter is unpresidential, obviously, and very yeah. aggressive. Right. Um, but the politics of impeachment, we're going to be talking about 
probably for the next few months. Nancy Pelosi in March told the Washington Post, I'm not for impeachment. Impeachment is so divisive to the country that unless there's something so compelling and overwhelming and bipartisan, which is the part that I, I zeroed in on, I don't think we should go down that path because it divides the country. Now, 88% um, of Republicans are against impeachment. Mm -hmm. Tulsi Gabbard actually offered a censure for Democrats, which mm -hmm. I thought that would probably be a better way to get Republicans on board to censure versus impeachment. And I was talking to some friends of mine last night who don't follow politics, and I envy their lives deeply. But they were under the impression that being impeached today mm -hmm. means he's out of office. And I had to explain he, that it goes to trial. Right. And then if he goes to trial and he's impeached from then, then he won't be able to run again. But the likelihood of it going to the Senate and mm -hmm. passing through is almost nothing. Mm -hmm. So the politics of this, I just don't know where Democrats lie, given that Every polling from whatever poll you read from CNN on, on board to more conservative outlets show that the popularity is waning. So at a certain point, we're going to come to the end of this, and I don't think Democrats are going to get what they want. So what happens next? But what happens after this? I think Democrats this? will get what they want.